Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and 40 years ago today, Star Wars debuted. So I'm going to be showing you the Topps 40th Anniversary card set. I got 200 cards. I haven't always been a collector of the Star Wars cards, believe it or not. Even the vintage card sets, I only have a full Return of the Jedi card set. I've got to find a way to get the complete Star Wars A New Hope card sets, as well as the Empire Strikes Back card set. Those would be the vintage cards. Uh, these are obviously modern cards, the most recent set that has been produced uh, from Topps. And I think Topps has done a, a fairly good job, though I've not been a completist as far as the newer Star Wars cards are concerned, believe it or not. Some of these are in landscape, others are vertical or portrait mode. And just so you know, on the back of every card, you have details about whatever scene is on the front. But I know that I have 200 of these to go through, so I don't think I want to show everybody the front and the back of these cards. Though when they are displayed in the sleeves, which I intend to do, I uh, will be putting just one in each sleeve so that I could, in the future, read the, the backs of the cards because there are uh, bits of information on the back of them. I like the fact that the Clone Wars has been included in this because that's certainly a part of Star Wars canon, a series that is never too late to catch up on. And either uh, the uh, the movie, the Clone Wars movie, or the, the cartoon series, I should uh, add. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you haven't watched the Clone Wars, you're really missing out. Like, really missing out. And it still plays well. The animation may not be as good as it would have been had it been produced today, but it's still solid. And a fan favorite, Darth Maul. Many people did not know that uh, he showed up in the Clone Wars. And, of course, in Rebels. The Duchess Satine. So what's interesting about uh, this season is that it was just released on Netflix as an exclusive. Or that's the way to watch the season with a great degree of ease. Star Wars Rebels is coming to a close as of the date of the recording right now uh, after one more season, which is kind of bittersweet. It's taken a while for people to kind of get into it, especially as they pulled uh, characters out of Legends and into canon, like uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, sorry, <clears throat> out of Legends and into canon, like Grand Admiral Thrawn, Star Wars droids, oh wow, including the uh, uh, Boba Fett uh, character who showed up for the first time in the holiday special. Now that's a question. Is that actually going to show up as a card in this series? I never really watched uh, droids uh, that much. I probably watched Ewoks, uh, the cartoon, more so than droids, even though watching uh, the cartoon now, it's dark. I also enjoyed the Ewok uh, movies uh, set to be released on uh, television, if only because we didn't have a lot of Star Wars content to take in back in the day, so I just took anything. Okay, now we're looking at some uh, iconic scenes. Very iconic. Like, it's very recognizable. That's what makes it iconic. I still remember when uh, they broadcast Star Wars, and I'm talking A New Hope when I say Star Wars, uh, for the first time on television. It was, uh, even with commercial interruptions, uh, you know, fun to at least see happening. Though, I couldn't tell you if I sat all the way through or if halfway due to the commercial interruptions, I wound up playing with my Star Wars figures instead. Because <laughs> by and large, that's how we uh, experienced Star Wars back then. Ah, yes. The special edition uh, Explosion the Ring there, which I guess I didn't mind. Some people really do not like the special editions at all, and I'm kind of ambivalent. I really, uh, I, I appreciated having more. That's just me. 
Uh, always a fan of the Imperial Walker. The ad ad, as I call it, uh, some people will say ATAT. Well, blame Kenner, because back in the day, the old Kenner commercials had uh, called it the ad ad. So that's what uh, that's what I called it. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back, to my knowledge, was the only original trilogy movie that I remember seeing in theaters twice. That could be wrong. It's been so long, and my parents' memory is kind of hazy, and I did not. Uh, keep a diary back in the day we didn't have social media <laughs> but i do remember uh seeing uh, uh star wars a new hope very fondly uh, especially especially one scene this was the second time i saw uh star wars a new hope i was in the second grade having originally seen the uh um uh, the, the first run of star wars two weeks after its release according to my dad uh he took me and we went to the theater, and I, I couldn't have been more than uh, four or five. And uh, we stood in line, apparently. Went around the block. I have no memory of that. The only thing I remember from uh, the first time I saw Star Wars was maybe a scene with uh, TIE Fighters and, and, and X-Wings. These, these scenes were something else to see way back in the day. I mean, they still are, really. It's just kind of nice to to be able to you know, reminisce. I remember the first time I saw Jabba the Hutt gasping. like <sighs> It was uh, for a friend's birthday. We went to see Return of the Jedi. And the thing I think I was most excited about with the release of Return of the Jedi was thinking about all the new Star Wars figures that we get. And we did. We, we got quite a few. Some were never produced, unfortunately, but... Uh, you know, that that was that was the one thing I do remember. Sorry. Hang on, I'm trying to keep these in reverse order if I can. Because I, I have to uh, place them into uh, the book. Uh, I never really minded the Ewoks. Some people really had a, a visceral negative reaction uh, towards them, but I guess I, I, I they didn't bother me as much as they did others. She said, run away, run far away, or probably paraphrasing there. And then Luke did <laughs> The Force Awakens. He ran away. I love the TIE Interceptor. Never had one uh, up until uh, recently, though. I never got into the vehicles as much as the, uh, the figures. Sebastian Shaw. Anakin. He was Anakin at that stage. After he, I think... You know, I, I well, I'd, you could debate, but was he Darth Vader then, or was he Anakin at that point? I do remember not really having to wait in a very long line for uh, the Phantom Menace. There, there were friends who uh, um, were, were holding a spot, but I ended up seeing the Phantom Menace three times, I think, in the first two days. Although, what was interesting is that the the second day. The theaters were near empty. I, I, I do remember that. That was kind of a shock. I always liked the pod race. Again, I, you know, I, I, I didn't dislike the film as much as others did. It was certainly different. But, you know, for some fans, you can't make something that's different because they don't like that. And you can't make something that's too similar because they don't like that either. So I just uh, take it as a part of the overarching story. And then Attack of the Clones. I think I'm... How deep am I? Wait, that 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 really jumped ahead. <laughs> because that scene's towards the end of Attack of the Clones. Hmm, interesting. That one's definitely at the end of Attack of the Clones because it seems that we're kind of going uh, chronologically. It's, it's interesting, the scenes that they're taking. We've got quite a few more cards to get through. Uh, I was not necessarily a fan of the... Uh, Original clone trooper ethos, the design ethos. Um, now the uh, uh, the clones from episode three, I, I liked their design a lot more than uh, those from uh, episode two. Darth Vader. You know, it's it's kind of funny. What, what what I've seen others do is, you know, when you get like something um, like you know food. 
uh, you usually get an order number. I've been waiting my entire life to get an order 66, and I have yet to get one. That's just a kind of a fun thing you can do. Yeah, that's the uh, design ethos that I'm talking about with the, the, the clones that I liked, by the way. I guess this was uh, one of the longer uh, lightsaber battles uh, between uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan there at the end of Revenge of the Sith. Not exactly my favorite dialogue <laughs> line from Darth Vader. I I, I, uh, I don't know about that. Turns out you can get uh, a little action figure of uh, baby Luke and Leia too, by the way. Found that out in a recent uh, figure haul. Kind of surprised me. Yeah. Uh, Kylo Ren, uh, I, I, I really, uh, really appreciated the, the, the attention to detail that went into uh, his, uh, his design. Though I am disappointed now that uh, The Last Jedi is coming up. We really haven't seen a lot of uh, helmeted uh, uh, characters on either side, which is, uh, I guess, okay. But uh, I, I, like, uh, I like helmets. And, and melted helmets, like the prop replica that I still have. I uh, don't have that one, unfortunately, but a, an exact replica, which is now even more rare than it was to begin with. Very grateful that uh, Disney passed that along. Otherwise, there was no way in hell I would have had it. I didn't mind uh, the battle between uh, Kylo and Rey. See, this is the way that they've been showing in early pictures of The Last Jedi, which is, as, as of right now, this date has not yet been released. I wonder if Kylo's going to get a different helmet. Uh, it seems that his uh, original one was was smashed. I'm hoping for a different helmet, personally. If only because I, I just... I like that kind of design, really. Yeah. We're going to hear a lot more from Luke there. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Okay. So it's like every 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 so often it seems to reset itself. So this is card number 61. Ah, oh, yeah, the early bird set. You know, someone told me that that they could get me one and they never did and I didn't follow up cuz you know I'm I'm not that kind of guy. But if this looks familiar, it's like the uh, the early bird kit that Hasbro re uh redid or I guess did brand new with the six inch series that I unboxed uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually. You know, uh, you can also get the uh, um, the Star Wars newspaper comics in a book now. I have not yet done that. I, I kind of wait until prices for books go down, but that's something I definitely want to get uh, for the future because I never saw the Star Wars comic in newspapers. You know, the only way to get these trading cards anymore is just, like, in one fell swoop. And that's typically how I've done it. I've not uh, listened to the entire uh, public radio broadcast of uh, Star Wars either. It's not something I've, I've done. Maybe as a uh, Jedi gets older. Yeah, that was a big deal. Home video, man. <laughs> that was a big deal. And I, honestly, I'm not even joking. I'm not, I'm not sure if our family ever uh, ever got one. I'm not. I'm not sure if we or if we did. I don't know if we uh, we picked it up. Like I said, most of my Star Wars experience was in imagination, you know, or with the toys. Okay, there we go. There's the uh, one of the then I know of two Ewok movies were done. This is a uh, this was one. They weren't very Ewoky in my opinion, though. <laughs> they could have been more Ewoky. I, I really wish they'd do these types of cartoons again, if only for nostalgic value. Yeah, comic series. Something I was never lucky enough to, to, to have because we just didn't... That wasn't our family's culture and we just didn't have access to a comic shop outright. And I couldn't do Star Tours until you know substantially later either. Good ride. Still stands up, so to speak. Oh... <laughs> Okay, now there's not something that I knew existed. Huh. Star Wars 3D. Yeah, it was all the rage back then in the 80s. 
All the rage. Everything had to be 3D. Everything. And I suppose everything old is new again. Never had a chance to do a lot of RPGs either. My parents thought it would lead to Satanism. <laughs> it's true. I'm, I'm serious. So, as much as I've, I've seen these and I, I've heard other other people, you know, play, um, I, I never never had a chance to get into it. Now, I do remember in, in when I was in high school uh, when this was released. That was a big deal. That was the the newest bit of Star Wars anything that we had in, in forever. But honestly, I, I didn't get into uh, the EU, uh, Expanded Universe, or uh, um, uh, Legends, as it's now known, as much as others did. Even the uh, even the Star Wars video games um, didn't really uh, didn't really get into them. It wasn't a thing. Maybe uh, a couple of them. We'll see if they get uh, uh, they show up here in a card. Classic Star Wars begins. What? What's this? Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. No, I, I didn't get any of the Dark Horse comics either. Huh. They, just, they they made so many of them. Now, this was a thrill, man. In, in college, when I saw the uh, the Bendems come out, and then these Star Wars figures, oh, I was so happy. I was so happy to see Star Wars figures again. Oh, I was so happy. Oh, where's the Bendems? They should have really started with the Bendems card there. They made Star Wars figures for uh, Shadows of the Empire, but again, I I didn't uh, I wasn't into it. I, I just didn't. If it wasn't in a movie, you know, at that point, it was it was difficult to, uh, to for me to latch onto it. Yeah, I remember seeing all of those in the theater too. I was excited, man. It was it was just it was like seeing Star Wars again for the first time. Uh, I played Rogue Squadron. This is one that I played. Um, I, and I got gold on every level. I played I played this one all the way through. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, up to the Phantom Menace. So foreshadowing. Literal <laughs> foreshadow no, actually one shadowing. Yeah, Phantom has had a lot of uh a lot of uh I guess things to preoccupy itself with. Whether it was games or, or collectibles or toys. First time I saw Attack of the Clones, I didn't really think there was too much wrong with it. The second time I saw it, uh, I heard people laughing and I couldn't figure out, why are they laughing? Because of the cheesy parts. And admittedly, it was kind of cheesy, but, you know, they were teenagers. You know, you can't sit there and tell me that you weren't cheesy when you were a teenager, man. I mean, I'm, I'm an old man and I'm, I'm cheesy. And that's not easy either. I think I have the trilogy on DVD and still have it. Uh, though, of course, now if it's not you know easily accessible in digital, uh, you know I don't I don't see it as easily. Oh, they they cropped off the best part of this art. That like the cape kind of flows over and it's got Darth Vader. Huh. Oh, man, they missed the mark on that card. Haven't played through a Lego Star Wars game yet. <laughs> Though, like I said, you know, Jedi, I think, is is, is going to give me an opportunity to uh, experience these things, really, for the first time. Yeah, I, I had a, a near insatiable appetite, a voracious appetite for behind-the-scenes content. Just couldn't find enough of it. And it was difficult for me to see the Clone Wars uh, uh, series when uh, they originally produced it because it was just piecemeal DVRs didn't exist it was not uh, it was not easy doesn't exactly look like a, a death trooper there but that's okay visions um, yeah I you know I, I know I don't have that book though those are the types of books that many of you know I, I certainly appreciate uh, you know the more visual ones I do have Star Wars on Blu-ray. I absolutely do. Though, like I said, you know, I maybe watched it, you know, once or twice, and that was, that was it, you know, because, oops, sorry, uh, you know, it, it's just easier to access things digitally now. Uh, never got into Angry Birds or Angry Birds Star Wars. I have a few of the collectibles, though. Yeah. 
It remains to be seen how well EA is doing. I, I wasn't exactly excited with Battlefront. You know, played it enough to get to level 50, but we'll see how Battlefront 2 does. Rebels, of course, I, l I latched on to immediately, if only because it was something. And, uh, and so I'm, I am disappointed that it is, you know, it's reached now its fourth and final season, and or will be reaching at, at some point, um, if only because I've, I've just now you know, gotten to understand the characters, and uh, you know, then they're going to go away. Yeah. Force Awakens. So that's why we're not seeing any uh, Last Jedi cards, just uh, up to Rogue One. That has been the, uh, the most recently produced movie as of right now. Ooh, La Guerrera de las Galaxias. Uh, Spain? Yeah. Yeah, Diana might like that card. I am definitely not going to try to read that. <laughs> Hong Kong. See, I, I like that kind of art because otherwise I, I wouldn't have it. I mean, in card format because it's small, it's portable. I like the I like that they they did these cards a lot. Someone who speaks the language would probably know what that was. Oh, I could go through this kind of stuff every single day and still not uh, remember it all, and, and still see something new every time I look. We're on card 105. So we're about halfway through, just so everybody knows. <laughs> hey man, I was going to be looking at these things anyway, so I figured I'd bring you along. Very action-adventure type of uh, uh, scene there. Like, very, very dramatic. Gosh, I wonder if they put... Well, they couldn't have put all the posters in here. Though That, that would make an interesting set of cards... Uh, that I'd be interested in. I'm not a poster uh, collector outright. I, I probably have a few posters around largely given to me as gifts. What the? Okay, that is just... <laughs> this is just bizarre. What was that for? Uh, yeah, I guess. Wow. I don't think I ever saw that one. Yeah, I'd like to see a, a trading card set of uh, the merchandise over the years, too. That'd be kind of fun to have, you know, in cards, because you know, they're more portable. I like that one. That's cool design. That's really neat. There's some, uh, uh, you know, color schemes and designs that just, you know, really pop. I <laughs> love Dubac, you know. Because <laughs> the Dubac was just so important in the movie. It looks like an album cover there. Who, who's that? Oh, concept. Okay. It's like, what? Just a poster concept. Looked like an album art there. Could have been. I mean, I'm saying they could have made it that way. Yeah, that that this poster I've definitely seen before. So it's not this one isn't as jarring. Like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, Luke. <laughs> oh, Luke. Oh, yeah. This is very Macquarie inspired. The Star Wars. Very Macquarie. Very Macquarie. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, look at look at Chewbacca there. Land speed. I just I love how I mean back then I think was this a concept too? Um it's just funny. It's like land speeders there. I mean like you'd imagine it would be the Falcon, right? Which, you know, kinda of played a, a bigger role. Or like maybe a couple X Wings, but Oh there we go. This is Macquarie. Straight up Macquarie. Yeah, that that Han Solo Luke. 
uh, Chewbacca, R2, and, and, and um, the 3PO. I've got these three uh, uh, figures. I don't have a Luke or Han. Never got all of them. But, uh, yeah, they were definitely early conceptual renderings. Ah, cool. Macquarie had as much to do with Star Wars, I think, as George Lucas in terms of, you know, my memories of it. Oh, love that. Limited engagement. Oh, it's like, it's like a poster there. But wait a minute, what, what, what was that from? Yeah, poster treatments, yeah. Huh. Okay, they they nailed a lot of the uh, the creatures there too. Nice. Almost looks like a, like a senior uh, portrait there for Darth Vader, you know, and his best friends. Okay, this has got to be a part of a series because ah, the Coca Cola Company, poster premiums. See, I, you know, some people do collect posters. I, I, I'm just as happy with the cards, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they were, you know, um, put onto a, a, a trading card that I'm not going to trade, by the way. No, no trading here. Hmm. Stylized fashion. Oh, that's pretty neat. I think for so many of us, you know, Star Wars was experienced in our imagination. We didn't really have much of a choice back in the day, you know? You just couldn't just press play on your uh, phone because uh, your phone did not... Oh, there's RTT 2 c 3 po Your phone did not have buttons you could push. <laughs> didn't have screens. You had dials. A rotary dial that I still have nightmares about. <laughs> You gotta some kids these days probably have no idea. They they have no idea. This is nice art. But again, I'm just as content to have uh, the arts displayed in uh, in this uh, capacity. I mean, you only have so much wall space, right? <laughs> oh. Cool, love it. Of course, you need to have more figures, man. Yeah, Kenner's, yeah. Kenner's birthday. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, if, if these posters were hanging anywhere around me, I couldn't remember them. Oh, back when the W was uh, designed like that. Wow. Hmm. Now see that that might actually I think that would work pretty well for a for a poster. I think I'd be happier with that poster or maybe even this poster, just because it's so clean. Star Wars. Boy, they really went heavy into the uh, the posters here for the fortieth anniversary, and specifically Star Wars posters, at least to this point. So wait, this looks like a almost like a press kit. Yeah, promotional piece. Yeah, because you needed to explain who everybody was to every you know to anybody who was watching. Like, who is this? What what's going on? Villains. One of the sand people, an inhabitant of the planet Tatooine, to be avoided at all costs. Excitement. <laughs> That's exciting. You know, if you see a stormtrooper like shooting at you. <laughs> Star Wars was synonymous with excitement. And it was. I lived it. Ooh, yeah. That's a nice poster. That's rich. That's got damn near everything in there, including a bantha. Yeah, there's quite a bit going on. <laughs> I was going to guess Polish there, but I didn't want to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Seen that poster design before, too. Yeah, there's the, the Buff Luke.
One of these days, I'm gonna watch Star Wars in Spanish, just with with Diana, just 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 because I can, you know. Not subtitles, like full on Spanish. Yeah, that's a neat card. Ooh. I like that one too. Just it, it something about the just the, the balance and the design. <laughs> Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. Well, not quite yet. But that's okay. Must be older. Yeah. Some of these cards I really don't have much to say about. Now, I really liked the design of the special edition posters. I really, really, really did. A lot. I've seen that design before, too. I mean, even in even in going through the stack of cards, we've seen this before with Vader and the X-Wings. Different collectors collect different things. Happy there's a lot to collect. Including collectors cases. Cause this looks like the, uh, the, the, the case, the, like the carrying case for the figures. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's exactly what it was. <laughs> Uh, see that I, I'd love to see a, a card set with just the uh, the old toys. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, this is the the back of the early bird um, uh, the cardboard on the back of the early bird uh, display for the uh, the the stand. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least they did it on the uh, um, the Ken uh, the Hasbro re-release. That's the lunchbox. Yep. Never got into the lunch boxes. I think it may have had like a Return of the Jedi one. <laughs> yeah. Trying to keep these in decent shape. <laughs> That's a little weird, but I'm painted art. But you could assume if it's like. You know, bizarre. That looks like Marvel Comics, Star Wars. There, the design. Yep. You know, just the, the color scheme and the art style. Yep, Marvel Comics. I have one. Not it's a reissue of the first issue, but I'm grateful that I I, I received the uh, the entire Marvel comic series as a gift. Don't have it digitally though. Eventually, I'd like to even get in reprints so that Jedi can flip through them. Dewback's gonna get you, Han or Ben. Oh, neat! It's like he's got uh, yeah, Dark Horse Comics. Looks like he's got a Death Star on his mind. Sorry if I'm rolling through these too quickly or too slowly. Just doing my best to balance. Rotten Moth Tarkin. Almost through. Almost. Bear with me. Beggar's Canyon! <laughs> I like this. It's kind of a destination poster. Those are fun. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You know, because, you know, you travel to a place, you get something, you pick up something from there. There we go. <laughs> Left there by uh, miners that the Jawas picked up eventually. The sand crawler. Oh, cool. Those are fun. 
it's just a different way of, of looking at uh, you know uh, bits and pieces of the galaxy. <laughs> I really like this. Specifically, the, the, the these come here. This is what can happen. It's coming, villainy coalition. That looks like the uh, original top sticker there, Chewbacca. Nice. That looks like watercolor. Ben. Baby Ben. Again. Leia. It's going to be hard to see her on screen here with The Last Jedi. Very, very young look. Ah, of course. Darth Vader. I like this on a poster, too. Definitely. This has got to be like watercolor. Oh, yeah, I don't know if they're going to tell you on every card, but... Oh. Hmm. I'm surprised they, they're not putting artist names on them. On the cards. I like this design, too. I've seen the, the posters like this. Uh, I've got uh, a Darth Vader style, I think, Return of the Jedi with uh, um, uh, um, the design, not Star Wars, but Return of the Jedi uh, 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 koozie for, for uh, like, a, a can. Because I, I can't have all the Star Wars things. It's just it's just not possible. Not enough space in the world for me. <laughs> Ooh, that, that's kind of a that's a busy poster. Oh neat. Never really got into schematics and diagrams. They're fun to look at, but some people really did, but I'm I've never been much of a gearhead. Oh cool, I like that one. That one's fun. Yeah, I could get lost in, in those types of images. Absolutely. Yeah. Very nice. Always a fan of the Cantina. Stormtrooper. Ah, yes. C-3PO and R2-D2 as envisioned by Ralph McQuarrie. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely Macquarie. In fact, dang, I mean, that Tusken Raider, it's like, he, he turned out to be exactly the way Macquarie envisioned him. Yeah, this is all uh, Macquarie art here. Definitely seen that one, uh, that scene before. I mean, from Macquarie. I've seen a lot of the Macquarie art. I'm probably going to have to go back and look to see if they produced a Macquarie Art card set. <laughs> I know there have been books produced, but I guess if I had a choice between getting books or, or like trading cards of art, I think I would prefer trading cards more so than books. Wow, it looks like it was shot straight out of the scene, or straight out of the movie. A scene in it, it look okay, the scene in the movie looked exactly like that is what I'm saying. Death Star. Uh, just a second. It's Chewbacca. Death Star Droid. Sorry, I'm repositioning where these cards are going over here. A Macquarie Concept a Stormtrooper. And look at that, a Dark Stormtrooper. Definitely seen this design before as well. Macquarie style Darth Vader. How he looked uh, uh, specifically in Rebels, too. I mean, they, they, they pulled so much of Macquarie's ethos for Rebels. The Masasi base. Docking Bay 94. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be uh, wrapping up here real soon. That's why I'm kind of moving forward pretty quickly. McQuarrie. Flying Hamburger. Oh, TIE Pilot. Nice. I like that angle. Thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in. I, I do appreciate it. 
sharing your love with me. Love of Star Wars, that is. May the Force be with you.